Dear listeners, tonight I invite you to step into a realm of dreams where legendary heroes don enchanted garments and every thread weaves a tale of magic. Relax, close your eyes, and let the story whisk you away to the enchanted atelier of Roderick, the master tailor, where secrets of craftsmanship, bravery, and mystical power are waiting to be uncovered. Prepare to be enchanted as we journey together through a world of wonder, where every stitch holds a spell and every garment tells a timeless legend. Roderick's Magical Creations Enter the World of Enchanted Garments in a quaint medieval town, nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, there lived a tailor named Roderick. This town, with its cobblestone streets and thatched roof cottages, was a place where everyone knew each other by name, and the air was always filled with the comforting sounds of everyday life. Birds chirped merrily in the mornings, and the town square buzzed with the lively chatter of merchants and townsfolk. Roderick was a man of meticulous skill and unmatched dedication. His shop, located on the corner of a bustling street, was a small but welcoming establishment. The wooden sign above the door, elegantly carved with the words, Roderick's cloaks and garments, swayed gently in the breeze. Inside, the shop was a treasure trove of fabrics and materials. Rich velvets, shimmering silks, and sturdy woolens filled the shelves, each bolt of cloth more splendid than the last. The walls were adorned with examples of Roderick's craftsmanship. Cloaks of deep crimson, royal blue, and forest green each one detailed with intricate embroidery and delicate stitching. Roderick's magnificent cloaks were well known across the region. People came from nearby towns and villages, merely to have his expert hands sew a clothing. He was renowned for his remarkable ability to turn ordinary fabric into pieces of art and his fame had only gotten bigger with time. Despite his success, Roderick never wavered from his devotion to his trade and his desire to constantly learn and grow. Roderick was going to close his store one peaceful evening as the sun started to drop and the town started to transition into nighttime silence. His face was warmly illuminated by the soft glow of the lanterns inside after a long day of labor. He made to lock the door when he saw someone approaching out of the corner of his eye. The man appeared to be elderly, with a coat that blended in with the encroaching darkness. The way he moved was almost unearthly, as though he were gliding instead of walking. The old man's eyes glimmered with a strange light, a mixture of wisdom and mystery that made Roderick pause. As the man entered the shop, the light from the lanterns caught the sack he was carrying, revealing it to be filled with gleaming gemstones. The sight of such treasures took Roderick by surprise. The gemstones were of all colors and sizes, sparkling with an inner fire that suggested they were no ordinary stones. The old man spoke in a voice that was both gentle and commanding. Good evening, Roderick, he began, his tone hinting at a deeper knowledge of the tailor's reputation and skills. I have heard much about your remarkable talents, and I have come to make you an offer. Roderick, intrigued by the stranger, 
and the sack of gemstones, listened intently. The old man continued, I seek one of your finest cloaks, but it must be imbued with magic. In return, I offer you this sack of precious stones. Each gem is worth more than gold and holds a unique beauty. The proposition was unlike any Roderick had ever received. The idea of crafting a magical cloak was both daunting and thrilling. Magic was not a common practice in his town, and the thought of creating something enchanted sparked his curiosity and passion for his craft. The gemstones glittered temptingly, but it was the challenge and the opportunity to push his skills to new heights that truly captivated him. After a moment of contemplation, Roderick nodded. I accept your challenge, he said, a determined glint in his eye. He felt a surge of excitement at the thought of the work ahead, unaware of the adventure that was about to unfold. The old man smiled, a look of satisfaction crossing his face. I knew you would, Roderick. You have the heart and hands of a true craftsman. I shall return in due time to see the result of your efforts. With that, he turned and left the shop as quietly as he had arrived, leaving Roderick alone with his thoughts and the shimmering sack of gemstones. As Roderick locked the door and began to plan his next steps, he couldn't help but feel that his life was about to change in ways he could never have imagined. The challenge of creating a magical cloak would test his skills and ingenuity, setting him on a path filled with both wonder and peril. The mysterious visitor had ignited a spark within him, and Roderick was ready to embark on this new and exciting journey. Roderick set to work with unparalleled dedication, knowing that the task before him was unlike any he had ever undertaken. The challenge of creating a magical cloak fueled his passion, and he approached it with both excitement and reverence. He began by gathering rare and extraordinary materials each one with its own unique properties that would contribute to the cloak's enchantment. First, he sought out silk spun from enchanted spiders, a material both rare and precious. The spiders, hidden deep within the forest in a grove known only to a few, spun webs that shimmered with a silvery light. Roderick ventured into the forest, guided by the whispers of the trees and the gentle glow of the moon. After hours of careful searching, he found the spider's webs, delicate and gleaming. He harvested the silk with great care, ensuring he did not harm the creatures that spun it. The silk was incredibly strong, yet light as air, perfect for the foundation of the magical cloak. Next, Roderick acquired threads of gold. These were not ordinary golden threads, but ones imbued with magical properties. He purchased them from a wandering merchant who traveled through the town, a man with a knowing smile and a bag of wondrous goods. The golden threads sparkled with an inner light, as if they contained the warmth of the sun itself. They were essential for weaving the magic into the fabric, their luster adding both strength and beauty to the cloak. Feathers from mythical birds were the final ingredient. These birds, known as phantomies, were said to inhabit the highest peaks of distant mountains. Their feathers were prized for their ethereal qualities, capable of catching the light in ways.
ways that made them appear almost invisible. Roderick sent word to an old friend, an explorer who often ventured into uncharted territories. Weeks later, a package arrived, containing the precious feathers. They were light and iridescent, shifting colors in the light, a perfect component for the cloak's magical properties. With all the materials gathered, Roderick began the meticulous process of crafting the cloak. Each stitch was a labor of love and precision. He worked in the quiet of his shop, the only sounds the soft rustling of fabric and the gentle hum of his whispered incantations. These ancient spells, learned from dusty tomes passed down through generations, were crucial. They were the key to infusing the cloak with magic, making it more than just a beautiful garment. Roderick's incantations were melodic and rhythmic, their words flowing like a gentle stream. He spoke of protection, of concealment, and of the cloak's power to shield its wearer from harm. As he worked, he could feel the magic weaving itself into the fabric, each stitch binding the enchantments to the material. The cloak began to shimmer with an ethereal glow, a soft light that seemed to dance across its surface. It was a sign that the magic was taking hold, transforming the cloak into something extraordinary. Day and night, Roderick labored tirelessly. He barely took time to eat or sleep, so engrossed was he in his work. His fingers moved with practiced ease, yet there was an intensity to his movements, a dedication to perfection that drove him to push beyond his limits. The golden threads and silk wove together seamlessly, the feathers adding a lightness and grace that made the cloak seem almost weightless. It was a masterpiece in the making, each element coming together in harmony. As the days turned into weeks, Roderick continued to refine the cloak, perfecting every detail. He inspected each seam, each stitch, ensuring that the magic was evenly distributed and that the fabric was flawless. The cloak began to take on a life of its own, its glow becoming more pronounced, its magical aura almost tangible. It was a sight to behold, a testament to Roderick's skill and the power of the enchantments he had woven. Finally, the cloak was completed. Roderick held it up to the light, marveling at the wonder he had brought to life. It was more than he had ever dreamed it could be, a true masterpiece of craftsmanship and magic. The cloak shimmered with an ethereal glow, reflecting the magic woven into it. It was capable of rendering its wearer invisible, a power that could change the course of destinies. Roderick felt a deep sense of pride and accomplishment. He had created something truly extraordinary, a garment that was as beautiful as it was powerful. As he gazed at his creation, he knew that his life's work had reached a new pinnacle, one that would be remembered for generations to come. The old man returned under the cover of night, the moon casting a silver glow on the cobblestone streets as he made his way to Roderick's shop. The town was quiet, with only the faint rustle of leaves and the distant hoot of an owl breaking the silence. Roderick had been anxiously awaiting the old man's return, eager to present the magical cloak he had painstakingly crafted. As the old man entered the shop, 
his eyes gleamed with the same mysterious light as before. Roderick held out the cloak, its ethereal glow illuminating the room. The old man took the cloak, examining it closely, and a smile of deep satisfaction spread across his weathered face. Without a word, he draped the cloak over his shoulders, and, in an instant, vanished from sight. The cloak had worked perfectly, rendering him invisible. Moments later, he reappeared, the cloak shimmering as it became visible once more. It was then that the old man revealed his true identity. With a flourish, he removed his hood, and the air around him seemed to shimmer with an unseen energy. He was not merely an old man, but a powerful wizard, known throughout the land for his wisdom and magical prowess. His name was Arian, a legendary figure whose feats and abilities were spoken of in hushed tones and grand tales. Roderick was stunned. He had heard stories of Arian, the wizard who had counseled kings and vanquished great evils with his unmatched magical abilities. That such a figure had sought him out and tested his skills was both humbling and exhilarating. Arian looked at Roderick with eyes that seemed to see into his very soul. Roderick, Arian began, his voice resonant and commanding. You have proven yourself to be a craftsman of unparalleled skill and dedication. The cloak you have created is a marvel, a true testament to your talent and hard work. For this, you deserve more than mere payment. With a wave of his hand, Arian began to chant in a language that was ancient and powerful. The air in the shop crackled with magic, and before Roderick's astonished eyes, his modest workshop began to transform. The wooden walls expanded, and the space grew larger, filled with a warm, golden light. Shelves and tables appeared, laden with rare and wondrous materials from every corner of the kingdom. Silks spun by enchanted spiders, threads of gold that shimmered like the sun, feathers from mythical birds, and countless other magical items filled the room. Tools of the trade, each one enchanted to enhance Roderick's already considerable skills, appeared as well. Scissors that never dulled, needles that moved with a thought, and looms that could weave spells into the very fabric of the garments. The shop was now an atelier of enchantment, a place where magic and craftsmanship could combine in extraordinary ways. Roderick stood in awe, his heart racing with excitement. The possibilities that now lay before him were endless. With these tools and materials, he could create garments that were not only beautiful, but imbued with powerful magic. He could craft cloaks that granted invisibility, armor that provided unmatched protection, and robes that could heal wounds or enhance the wearer's abilities. Arian smiled at Roderick's amazement. Use these gifts wisely, he said, his tone both kind and serious. You have the talent to create wonders, and the world is in need of such marvels. Many will come to you seeking your skills, and you must choose carefully how you use your gifts. Remember, true magic lies not just in the materials or the tools, but in the heart and soul of the craftsman. With that, Arian turned to leave, his form shimmering as he prepared to vanish into the night once more. But before he disappeared, he looked back at Roderick, his eyes filled with a mixture of pride and expectation. 
I will be watching your progress, Roderick. The world needs more like you. As Arion vanished, Roderick stood in his newly transformed atelier, filled with a sense of purpose and excitement. He had been given a gift beyond measure, and he vowed to use it to bring beauty and magic into the world. The adventure that lay ahead was unknown, but with his new tools and the wisdom imparted by Arian, Roderick felt ready to face whatever challenges and wonders the future held. With his new enchanted workshop, Roderick embarked on a journey that would forever change his life and the lives of many in the realm. The transformation of his modest shop into a grand atelier filled with magical tools and rare materials was just the beginning. Roderick, now more inspired than ever, began to create garments that were not only beautiful, but also imbued with extraordinary powers. The first to seek Roderick's skills were the Knights of the Realm. These brave warriors needed armor that could protect them against the fiercest of foes. Roderick, with his enchanted tools, crafted armor that was both lightweight and incredibly durable. Each piece was made from enchanted metals that could withstand any blow. And Roderick added spells of protection and strength, making the wearers nearly invincible on the battlefield. The knights, clad in their new magical armor, felt an unprecedented surge of confidence and valor as they rode into battle, knowing they were shielded by Roderick's unparalleled craftsmanship. Soon, word of Roderick's talents spread beyond the knights to adventurers who roamed the realm in search of treasure and glory. These adventurers sought cloaks that could shield them from danger, making their perilous journeys safer. Roderick crafted cloaks that could blend into the surroundings, providing perfect camouflage. He added spells that would alert the wearer to nearby threats, and even created cloaks that could turn the wearer invisible for a short time, allowing them to escape from dangerous situations. The adventurers, now equipped with Roderick's magical cloaks, found themselves able to explore deeper and more treacherous parts of the world, returning with treasures and tales of their exploits. Even the royalty of the realm took notice of Roderick's extraordinary skills. Kings and queens, princes and princesses, all came to him, seeking robes that could protect them from harm. Roderick's creations for the royal family were masterpieces of both art and magic. The robes were woven with threads of gold and silver, adorned with precious gems, and imbued with spells of protection and healing. These garments could deflect physical attacks, protect against poison, and even mend wounds. The royalty, draped in these magnificent robes, felt a sense of security and comfort, knowing that Roderick's magic would safeguard them. Each creation that emerged from Roderick's atelier was a work of art, a testament to his unmatched tailoring skills and the powerful magic of his workshop. His garments were not only functional, but also breathtakingly beautiful. The intricate designs and the way the fabrics shimmered with an ethereal glow left everyone in awe. The combination of Roderick's meticulous craftsmanship and the enchantments made each piece unique and highly sought after. As Roderick's fame grew, 
his name became synonymous with wonder and enchantment. People from all corners of the realm traveled to his atelier, hoping to commission a garment that bore his magical touch. Stories of his creations and their miraculous powers spread like wildfire, turning Roderick into a legend in his own time. Despite the growing fame and the influx of wealthy clients, Roderick remained humble. He never lost sight of the passion that had driven him to become a tailor in the first place. He continued to strive for perfection, always seeking new ways to improve his craft and the magic he wove into his garments. Roderick believed that his talents were a gift meant to help others, and he never hesitated to create garments for those in need, regardless of their status or wealth. Roderick's atelier became a place where heroes were born and legends were made. The knights who wore his armor, the adventurers who donned his cloaks, and the royalty who graced his robes all carried a piece of Roderick's magic with them. They became symbols of the tailor's dedication and the power of his creations. Through his magical garments, Roderick's legacy grew. He became a beacon of hope and inspiration, showing that with skill, dedication, and a touch of magic, one could create wonders that transcended the ordinary. His workshop, once a simple tailor's shop, became a sanctuary of enchantment and craftsmanship, a place where dreams were woven into reality. And so, Roderick the tailor, with his enchanted garments, left an indelible mark on the realm. His name forever etched in the annals of history as a master of both needle and magic. Dear listeners, may your dreams be filled with the magic of Roderick's creations and your heart with the bravery of those who wear them. Good night, and may you sleep peacefully until we meet again for another enchanting adventure.